Here are the 10 most dangerous tourist spots you don't want to visit. You may want to think twice before heading to these locations, as they might end up being your final destination ever. Number 10. Jacob's Well This dazzling natural swimming spot attracts thrill-seeking swimmers looking to take a dive into its bottomless black hole. Located in Wimberley, Texas, Jacob's Well is an artesian spring that enchants visitors with its intricate system of underwater caves and limestone cliffs. Its cave descends downwards, reaching an average depth of 120 feet. For many adventure-seeking outsiders, the cool, clean, and clear waters of Jacob's Well offers relief from the hot Texan sun, but it comes at a price. Considered one of the most dangerous diving spots in the world, the depths of the waters can easily swallow anyone alive. This, however, has not stopped daredevil open water divers from risking their lives by plunging into its seemingly never-ending hole. Taking the dive requires experience with specialized techniques and cave diving equipment, since there is a high risk of getting lost in the caves deep down. Otherwise, you might as well just swim close to the surface like most visitors do. To this day, eight diver deaths have been recorded at the site. Number 9. The Donakil Desert in the northern end of Africa's Great Rift Valley lies the Donakil Desert in Ethiopia, one of the hottest places on the surface of the planet. It's one of the most inhospitable places known to man, with daytime temperatures exceeding 122 degrees Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius. Volcanoes and earthquakes continually rip the ground apart, spewing lava and noxious gases, and giving the place its name, the Gateway to Hell. The idea that anyone would actually live here seems absurd, yet people have been inhabiting the place continuously for thousands of years. As salt traders, natives may make regular two-day long treks on camels to collect salt. One interesting note about the native Danakils is that they used to have a reputation of cutting off unwanted visitors' testicles, although nowadays the practice has stopped. The proximity of the region to Eritrea's borders also makes it a dangerous place for visitors. In 2012, five European tourists were killed and four others kidnapped by African rebel groups near a volcano in the area. Number 8. Madidi National Park Bolivia's Madidi National Park has long been considered the most biologically diverse protected area on the planet, with new wildlife species being frequently discovered in the area. But in the middle of such a steamy tropical rainforest, there's bound to be plenty of creatures above you in the food chain. As beautiful as the place may be, the diverse species have developed different types of poison to protect themselves. Toxic moths, flesh-eating maggots, and skin-eating fungi to name a few. Direct contact with the park's plants leads to severe itching, rash, and dizziness. Any small wound or cut can quickly get infected by parasites. Visitors will also get the chance to experience wild animals such as snakes, jaguars, and bears, all of which prey on humans. The wild pigs are among the worst, known to literally tear human visitors apart, leaving them strewn across the park floor in pieces. Number 7. Death Valley Death Valley is a stunningly beautiful desert surrounded by mountains. Located in eastern California near the Nevada border, Death Valley seems like something out of this world with its alien-like topography and scorching heat. You might have experienced hot and dry places, but none can compare to what is considered Earth's natural oven. During the summers, Death Valley commonly experiences temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius, with its highest recorded temperature reaching a staggering 134 degrees Fahrenheit or 56.7 degrees Celsius. The blazing sun and searing heat would quickly dehydrate and exhaust anyone, and without water, death would come within less than 14 hours. Despite that, the place is continuously visited by tourists. Many deaths have been recorded in the past for those not honoring the valley's extreme climate. In August of 2016, for example, 40-year-old Linda Hung took a turn into Death Valley and got her car stuck in the sand. She then walked off to get help, but collapsed just five miles away from the car, where rescuers later found her dead body. Number 6. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil Famous for its legendary carnivals and festivals, Rio may seem like a great place for a holiday. With its soaring mountains and white sandy beaches, the Brazilian city manages to attract millions of tourists every year. But the sheer amount of gun crimes on the streets means that anything could happen at any time, anywhere in the city. In fact, Brazil has one of the highest violent crime rates in the world. There are also the spontaneous dangers of cutthroat drug trafficking, kidnapping, and rape. In August of 2016, Rio hosted the 31st Summer Olympics. Concerns were made regarding the city's reputation for violent crimes. Despite promises for increased security and criminal crackdown by the Brazilian government, countless incidents still occurred throughout the 16-day event. Numerous crimes targeting athletes and tourists were reported, including gunpoint and knife point robberies, hotel break-ins, and burglaries. Number 5. Pyongyang, North Korea 
officially known as the Democratic People's Republican of Korea, the extremely reclusive nation is not widely known as a favorite travel destination. However, the Hermit Kingdom does open its borders for foreign travelers, albeit with extremely strict travel restrictions. With foreigners limited to just hundreds at a time, you will definitely feel a little out of place in North Korea. In fact, tourists are usually constantly accompanied by tour guides, and any interaction with locals outside of the planned tour is completely forbidden. With the reportedly oppressive and unpredictable regime, as well as an uncertain security situation due to housing nuclear weapons, North Korea can be one of the most spontaneous places in the world, just not necessarily in a good way. In January of 2016, 21-year-old American student Otto Warmbier was touring North Korea when he got arrested by officials at the airport just before his departure from the country. He was accused of theft of a political propaganda poster at the hotel he was staying at in Pyongyang. Citing the act as a serious crime against their leaders, the government sentenced Warmbier to 15 years of hard labor in prison. The U.S. government has repeatedly pressured North Korea for his release, but to this day, he still remains incarcerated. Number 5. Southern Philippines Without a doubt, Philippines is home to some of the most beautiful islands and beaches in the world. With over 7,000 tropical islands, beach lovers and sunbathers can't get enough of the magnificent shorelines of Philippines' southern islands. But the tropical paradise on Earth comes with its dangers. Philippines' southern region has long been the base for Muslim separatist groups since the 1960s. With terrorist groups making the islands their base of operations, many accounts of killings and kidnap operations targeting tourists have become a reoccurring problem throughout the years. In 2001, militant group Abu Sayyaf seized 20 hostages from the Philippines' island province of Palawan and held them ransom. The crisis lasted for 12 months, with additional hostage takings and repeated rescue attempts by the Philippine army. The incident concluded with the death of five hostages and over 30 Filipino soldiers and Abu Sayyaf militants. Then in September 2015, the Abu Sayyaf committed another kidnap and ransom operation, this time involving four hostages. When the deadline for their demands had expired, they beheaded 68-year-old Canadian businessman John Rizdell, leaving his head and body in separate locations in the Sulu province. Number 3. Yosemite National Park Located in California's Sierra Nevada mountains, Yosemite National Park is famed for its sequoia trees, Bridal Veil Waterfall, and the well-known rock formation known as Half Dome that rises over 5,000 feet above the valley below. Seen as a Yosemite icon, many hikers are tempted to undergo the challenge of conquering the magnificent granite dome. Park rangers are available to assist hikers, although the National Park Services still discourage anyone who is out of shape from embarking on the journey. There are metal cables that allow hikers to climb the last 100 meters up to the summit without any harnesses, but climbing is highly discouraged when conditions are wet. The climb takes an entire day, and up until today, 60 people have died while trying to make it to the top. Two hikers who died had their bodies swept away by the rapid waters below. It is also interesting to note that the Mirror Lake side of the Half Dome is known as the Death Slabs. Number 2. Mount Huashan, China Situated near the city of Huayin in China's Shanxi province, Mount Hua is not only known for its beautiful views and vista, but also for having one of the most dangerous and terrifying plank path walks in the world. Seen as a holy place, Mount Hua is considered one of China's greatest five mountains. Monks and pilgrims have constructed paths and staircases as a means of climbing the mountain. But in order to reach the five peaks, the climb is not for the faint of heart. As tourists walk the cliffside of the mountains, they are left to hook and unhook themselves to the various cables until they reach the end of the skywalk. They will literally be clinging for their life on iron chains while walking on the rickety planks that are only two feet wide. The paths have been reinforced in recent years due to the incline in the number of tourists venturing out. There are no exact statistics on how many people have fallen to their deaths, but local rumors name about a hundred deaths per year. Number 1. Baghdad Once known as the greatest city in the world during the medieval times, Baghdad is nowhere near what it was before. More than a decade after the death of Saddam Hussein, Iraq still suffers greatly from the damage wrought in the overthrow of its bloody dictator and the chaos that followed. Although few and far between, foreign visitors still fly into the war-torn country for various purposes. Despite the withdrawal of American troops in 2011, the Iraqi insurgency still continues, meaning the country still has a hostile atmosphere of gunfire and public bombings. Iraq has very limited support for tourists when it comes to policing, not to mention frequent attacks, bombings, kidnappings, and beheadings from groups like Al-Qaeda and the so-called Islamic State ISIS to make matters worse. In June of 2016, Baghdad witnessed its worst bombing since the city's invasion in 2003. A lorry truck packed with explosives was detonated in the middle of a shopping district, killing over 250 people. The lasting days of peace seemed like an impossible dream in the city that is currently listed as one of the least hospitable places in the world.
Find out more about fatal entities that will kill you by subscribing or clicking on one of the links below.